Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I'm home and kind of sad about it, but I wanted to show you a little haul of all the things that I purchased while I was in Spain. Here's just a little sneak peek. First up, these were purchased, I think my first week there. I found red Converse. I've been looking for high top Converse for probably a year and a half, solely for the purpose of the gym and wanting to have like flat soled shoes. I feel like these are decent for lifting. So I was really excited to find these. These were like 10 euro from a street market. And I just think the red is such a fun color. And I just think they're really cute. I'm excited. This is probably one of my favorite things that I purchased there. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing it in almost every video that I've posted in Spain since I purchased it. It's something about it is just so wonderful. It's a perfect cut in length. It's got nice little pockets down here. Once I find a really cozy sweatshirt or hoodie, then that's all I wear. So this is my newest fixation. Now, bathing suits. A lot of these are, actually all of these are secondhand, so I don't really give a shit if you think that's gross. That's not really my problem. I think there are bigger issues in the world than worrying about that. So, this I got for two euro. Nice little set, looks like this. I really like the top just because it's kind of like a different style and it's like a bit more of like a active style. Um, and then the bottoms are cute. But I also found these bottoms, which I really like the tie on the side bottom just because they're adjustable. But I just thought this print was really fun. Ooh, and I like the black outline because I have just like a plain black top that I'd probably wear it with. This is my number one thing that I was so excited to find. And it's like my number one souvenir because I've been searching it for it for forever. Flashback to what I'm wearing this summer video when I was talking about floral one pieces specifically and how cute they were. Look at this bathing suit. Isn't it so cute? This was 15 euro. It's from more of like a vintage shop, but it's just, it's so nice. It also has that kind of underwire on the top, which I just think is nice in like a one piece. And then it's got this really low scoop back that is just so flattering. It's comfortable. And I just want to wear it constantly. All right, I'm going to go through these next couple things kind of quickly because I know I've already showed them before, but at a street market for a euro, I found this black satin halter top. It's really nice. It's got a little zipper on the side, which is just functional i don't know i just think it's really cute i like the longer length because it looks really good with like lower waisted pieces it's just really flattering and comfortable and i mean for a euro crazy good deal i also found this kind of like mesh sheer long sleeve button up i pictured this with like a denim skirt and some high boots killer this was for a euro and again i think i'm wearing this also in all my videos it's just a really flattering kind of high neck sleeveless top the length could not be better it's got this cute little rhinestone design on it it just is so wonderful and orange is my new favorite color. Then I got some pants. First up, I got these pinstripe pants. I've been on the search for pinstripe pants for forever and none of them fit how I want, including this pair, unfortunately. It's just a little bit lower waisted for my taste, but look how wide the leg is. Like, that's what just drew me to them as I knew that they were gonna be flattering. I just, I don't love the waist on them, but they are really cute. If at any point in time I get like an actual job that I have to wear business casual attire, they'll be perfect next up i am going to be selling or donating these these are really cute but they just do not fit i don't know just like something about the sort of wash of them and these were three pounds no it's the same vendor oh wait hold on there's something else that i bought i almost forgot to show you guys there was this one specific vendor that had a giant table of denim and i guess the cords which is where i got those and then a giant table of jean jackets which is where i found this little like denim sort of blazer any denim tops i'm instantly drawn to even though i don't always wear them as much as i might think so they're kind of hard to style but i found this little blazer i just thought it was so cute and it's just a unique cut compared to the many other jackets that i have that are made out of denim at the same time that i found that jacket i found this jacket for my mom it's so cute it looks adorable on her it's just this awesome like i don't know sort of like moto style jacket the brown is really cute and yeah, I just think that's so sick. Then these were purchased in another vlog, but I found these high-waisted jeans. I think I was duped to be honest because the quality is not great. They are 100% cotton, which is like good quality denim, but the stitching isn't great. Luckily I could probably fix that, but yeah, I think I kind of rushed into making the purchase, but they are really nice. So these were nine euro, which I don't know. I don't know if I'd purchase them again, but I bought them, so. And last but not least, I talked about this again in another vlog. I bought this book, España desde el cielo, and it's just, it's got really nice pictures of Spain from the sky, so I wanted it for my little coffee table collection, so I'm glad that I got it. It was four euro from Ida Books and more, I think. I think that's it. But I am trying to be more conscious of my consumption because I came back and kind of felt like overwhelmed by all of these things that I'd brought into my life when I had so many things sitting here at home. 
So more on that to come. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.